This is letter E, big E. As you can see on our paper, we have a top line at the top. We have also the broken blue middle line in the middle, and the E sits on the base line at the bottom. Now, like all of our big letters, we start from the top line, and we come down to the base line. Then we take our pencil off the paper, and then we go back to the top, and then across the top line. Then we go to the middle line and go across the middle line, and then finally we go across the base line at the bottom. And that was big E. Now, baby E. Baby E is interesting because it's different to just about any letter. It actually starts in a different spot from any other letter, really, and which is halfway between the middle line and the base line. Now, baby E, as you can see, is actually a small baby, which means that it is drawn between the middle line and the base line. So, let's go ahead and start halfway between the middle line and the base line. Here I do, come around here, squirrel around, touch the base line and go up. And that was baby E. Big E, baby E. This is big H. As you can see, our paper has the top line. Also, we have the broken blue middle line in the middle and the base line that H sits on. Now, like all of our big letters, H starts, big H, or starts from the top line. We come down to the base line. Then we go take our pencil off, go to the top line again, and come down and draw another line to the base line. And then we finish it by going across at the middle line. That was big H. Now, baby H. Baby H, as you can see, is actually a big baby because it can be drawn or is drawn between the top line and the base line. So let's go and do that now. Starting at the top, we come down, hit the base line, pencil still on the paper, go to the middle line, go back down to the base line and kick up. And there you go. Big H, baby H.